and replace the motor for your Venta air washer. Some of the typical symptoms of the motor is that you would be hearing some sort of constant noise, uh, hot to the touch, fan not spinning, and our plus units, the LEDs on the top of the motor are both lit up while you have a full lower housing of water. Um, one way that uh, we can go ahead and talk about the noise a little bit is I'm going to turn this on the highest speed. This is an LW24. Right now I'm talking to you in a normal tone of voice and you can barely hear this unit. It's very whisper quiet, one of the quietest ones out on the market today. So if you're hearing a constant noise, it's going to be something other than what you are hearing now, which is nothing. So it would probably be a grinding noise, but it'd be constant. Not like the gear as in a clicking noise. Uh, of course, if it's hot to the touch, it's hot to the touch. Unplug it from the wall, give customer service a call, we'll ship you out a motor right away. If your fan is not spinning, that's another indication. So how we can do this is what we're going to do is we're going to kind of show you a way on how to triage or how to figure out that the motor is bad. Okay. One of the ways is to make sure that your upper housing is seated correctly on the lower housing. Okay, there's an auto safety switch that won't allow the motor to run unless otherwise, and they have to make a connection between the two, so it must be flush. Another thing to check is your outlet, to make sure that your outlet is uh, operating correctly. Sometimes you need to uh, check another outlet, unplug it, bring it to another outlet, and plug it in. Uh, for the plus unit, you want to make sure there's enough water in the lower housing unit because there is an LED indicator that will shut off your motor when it gets to the lowest level possible. In your classic units, it's, your motor is just going to keep running and running until you, know, you check it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the motor out and we're going to run a test on it to uh, see if it's operating correctly. So what we want to do is we want to shut off the unit, unplug it from the wall. At the top of the upper housing there's two thumb tabs. Depress those thumb tabs and unlocks the top. Kind of opens up like a flower. First open up the graded side, then open up the solid side. You'll see within the solid side there's a channel for your power cord. On the new plus units, the power cord just disassembles from the motor as such. With your classic units, it is attached to the motor, so you're going to have to pull your plug and pull it through the channel on the right hand side in order to get the motor out. One of the ways we can test the motor is that there is a safety switch on one of the armatures of the motor. You'll see that there is a, on the plus units there will be a metal contact lead and on the classics there will be a pla plastic button that you can depress. What we want to do is we want to plug in the motor. This is completely safe. Then we want to take a screwdriver. Okay. On the pluses, we want to turn on the power. Then you want to take the screwdriver. Let me help this here. So we can, you're going to have to kind of situate it in your hand so that you can press one of the speeds at the same time you do your connection, like such. This would tell me that this is a good motor. So now I have a metal, it has to be metal too, within that safety switch. As soon as I pull it out, it will do that. I will put it in, select the speed, one, two, three, all of them are working. With your classic units, you don't need to have something metal to put into the contact, you just need something that will fit into this armature to depress the safety switch. So 
so let's say that the fan didn't move. So we need to replace the motor. The two armatures coming from the bottom of the motor have the gear, the mounting ring and coupling attached to the fan. We want to take those off. So what we want to do is gently twist the gear, pull it from the armatures, pull off the coupling and the gear, and then we'll pull off the snap ring. You may want to get something to slide underneath the snap ring to get it out, or if you have a long enough nail, that'll do. This is how your motor will come if it's a plus unit. It'll come just like this with a fan, no gear, no mounting ring or coupling, and no power cord. So if you have a plus unit, please save your power cord. Classic units. Your power cord is attached, so it's one assembly and it'll come to you without the mounting ring and coupling and gear. Okay, so we will pretend that this is our good motor now and we will put it back into the upper housing and reassemble the unit. We'll take the mounting ring and coupling, we'll put those together. It just slides right into two grooves that you have up in on the mounting ring. Then we'll put the coupling, which just pushes right into the gear. Then we'll take the mounting ring and just snap it right onto the fan. Then we'll snap it into the armatures here. And we'll give it a good test to make sure that the gear is properly attached to the motor. Then we'll grab our upper housing here. And what we want to make sure is that our thumb tabs are depressed once again and that the power cord is on the right side where the channel of the cord will go. We'll run the power cord up through the channel, put it into the channel, then plug it in. Then we want to fold the solid sides first. They kind of lock in themselves. You want to make sure you have a good solid connection. I'm going to put the top braided side in next and then lock it all in by the thumb tabs can't come apart. Then we want to make sure that the power cord is in one of the channels on the side and that it sits flush. Remember, this has to sit flush. Everything has to sit flush because it's got to make a connection because we have metal leads that connect from the upper housing to the bottom housing and that allows us to know when the water is low and then you'll get your signals on the LED for a plus model. I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. And we'll turn on our unit. And that is how you change a motor for a Venta air washer. This part of the instructional video is how to triage and how to replace the motor for your Venta air washer. Some of the typical symptoms of the motor is that you would be hearing some sort of constant noise, uh, hot to the touch, fan not spinning. On our plus units, the LEDs on the top of the motor are both lit up while you have a full lower housing of water. Um, one way that uh, we can go ahead and talk about the noise a little bit is I'm going to turn this on the highest speed. This is an LW24. Right now I'm talking to you in a normal tone of voice and you can barely hear this unit. It's very whisper quiet, one of the quietest ones out on the market today. So if you're hearing a 